Now, the reason that time and time again, I have decided to not address the government. I have, well, not talk about the government, not go tit for tat and instead encourage cooperation. Every time a statement is made, every time he has a tantrum, what do I come back with you? I come back to you with facts. I come back to you with the details. And then I say, Governor, I hope that we can cooperate and work together. And the reason that I do that is first and foremost, I don't care what the governor thinks about me. Let me just put that on the record. I do not care what he thinks about me. Secondly, I would say that we both have to understand that the challenges that we are addressing are bigger than me and bigger than him. It's about how do we restore a functional, dependable system for the residents of Jackson. This isn't about the mayor and it's not about the governor. And so we have to keep that front and center. The governor said that he's a big boy and he can handle any of my comments. Uh, if you have gone through not only the comments that I have made locally, but nationally, I have made no comments personally attacking the governor in any way. What I have done is put uh, the onus or responsibility or, or accountability, accountability on all leadership to understand their role in how we found ourselves in these challenges. Uh, he also stated that I talked poorly and it upset him when I talked poorly about the people of Mississippi. I think that you have to follow up with questions like, what did the mayor say about the people of Mississippi? Because you will find at no time in any of my comments have I ever spoken poorly about the people of Mississippi. I love the people of Mississippi. What I have done is challenge the leadership of the state in order to address the failure to fund Jackson over time. But John Henry Clark said it best. I only debate with my equals. All others, I teach.